Hi guys, back here again with another video review. Sorry, I am so sorry. I've been trying to get this guy on. I've been working my ass off. I'm going to take another take of him soon. Anyway, as you can see, we've got Starscream here. Movie Starscream. This is really, really late. So is this guy and Prime. <coughs> <coughs> my cough is finally going away. Yes. Anyway, onto the figure. He's an F-22 Raptor Jet. Uh, he's some sort of sandy color. Now, I just want to point this out. See, uh, uh, this scorch line, how it's kind of, you know, like that. Well, this scorch line here, from flying, it's, sorry, burn line, kind of like that, in a way, so, I don't know, it just gives it character. Same with this. These engraving, engravings aren't on this side, which you probably don't even give a damn about. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's got a bit of silver across there for his Decepticon symbol, and across his wings, and, uh, oh yeah on those back wings and across the front right here and across there and he's got an amber orange got a uh, cockpit thing yeah and there's actually like seats in there and some sort of con you know driver's control panel thing whatever you call it <coughs> a little rubber piece here just in case yeah but as you can see a transformer transforming into a jet they have to put his legs and arms somewhere all jet transformers have undercarriage problems, oops. But anyway, and his gimmick does not work on any of these figures. It's supposed to roll and, uh, see this thing? It moves it. And if you put a missile in, it'll go, like, flying out because this thing triggers it. You can pull it back, but then it won't roll as easy. But anyway, got another rubber piece here and his head is showing. Oh well. I don't really care about undercarriage. But anyway, onto the transformation. Oh crap, hang on. Uh, I rate this mode, I don't know, 7 out of 10. Because I like jets. Okay, right. Transformation. First thing you want to do. Pull his arms out like that. You know, the guns, whatever. And then you fold his whole arm, or thing, whatever, down. <coughs> then, what I like to do, I'm just going to move the camera up. Is take out the wings. Oh yes, yeah, take them off. Uh, fold down these wings like that. Like you know, these kind of things. Right, they come off because they're on ball joints. And then I might fold this flat down, this rubber piece, and I fold these bits forward like that. So then, his auto mouth will kick into place once you split this off, and you kind of like, yeah. Okay, you know. right. You might want to pull it out a bit. As you can see, his chest is already forming, and voila! Oh wait, um, it's not. Is it? Yeah. Sorry. Um, then you split these apart. Yep. Clip it into place over that rubber piece, and you fold his cockpit down like that. There we go. Okay, now to the back, to the feet or whatever. Well, first thing I'd like to do is fold this thing down and open up his kneecaps. Then I open these flaps, pull his feet out, pull it out, fold it down, close the flap, turn the foot around, pull out the foot. So I'm just going to do this again. Uh, now he's got these weird feet. Now, just pull them out like that. Voila. Next, we uh, grab these wings and we fold them in as we like fold them down like that. And the reason we fold this in is because it's got a hole and a little hole thing there, and that'll hold the wings in place. Okay. These legs will fold back like that every now and then. Oh no, well, back to the front. Now we're going to position these things. First thing we want to do is like fold these there so we can get these down and these will just cover them. I said these will just cover them. Like, so, you can push them back if you like what I, what I like to do. Not like that or anything. You know, just like that. Anyway. Ah, oh, ow. Onto the feet. I like to clip this one forward a bit. Like one. Two on this one, 
Is that two? No, that's one. Or something like that. So it looks like that. So. Like so. And I always like to turn the heads around at, at the last point. So then, these bits, you fold up like that. No, he fold his arms down into place. Oh, crud. Legs are like, you know, a loose joint, but oh well. They try to make him look like a raptor to live up to his name. You know, F-22 raptor jet. Ha 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 ha, yeah. Right, um, now we can just turn the head around. I think that's about it, yeah. Cool. Now, a lot of people are saying his head, that thing right there, attached to his body. Um, I've got this paint that'll go across there, because that bit's supposed to be lighter. I'll do that soon. Uh, they say his head is ugly. Well, you know, it resembles the movie. And he's got that light thing, and you know, the orange thing, with the back of their head so their eyes shine. Let's see if I can do it here. Yep, there we go. Okay. Cry. Sorry, my legs are a bit... Well, Starscream's legs are a bit wobbly. whoop de doo da There we go. Zoom out for you. Uh, yeah, posability. Head, go around 360. Either way, like that. Uh, 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 goes around 360. His arms, bend here. Out in, forward, back. They can do 360. Bend at the elbow. Turn at the uh, wrist, and if you want these things to come out, they look like, you know, they're good for a gun. Not good for fingers. They're supposed to be his fingers. <gasps> Now this, you can take all three out and put one of the missiles in the middle to make him look like G1 Starscream. But I, I don't really want to lose any missiles, so you know. And I'm not really a G1 fan. Sorry about that, but... <laughs> um, his legs, well, it's due to the transformation. Those can bend, those can bend, his legs can bend, his feet can move. All that kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm running out of time here. I've got two minutes on my camera left. <laughs> Um, anyway, very, very nice figure. I like, because <laughs> I'm a kid, I pretty much like anything. I mean, you know, uh, I like anything because I'm a kid. You know, I'm not a fully grown man or anything, I'm only 11. So don't take me for a great reviewer or anything. For any of my reviews, until I'm like 13 or something. But anyway, I like this figure a lot. He's one of my favorite Decepticons. Because he's a jet. <laughs> anyway, I'd rate this mode definitely an eight and a half out of ten. Definitely, this it, it just deserves it. Because the head, I don't see why lots of people are complaining about that. It it resembles the movie. God. Anyway, uh, Lightning Strike Prime here. Uh, coming up with another review soon with Ironhide. Anyway, gotta go now. My camera's running out of battery. And I just charged it, and it's got like one minute left, so sorry about that. Gotta go. See ya. See you later. Bye. Whatever. Yeah, okay, yeah. Ciao.